Back in June 2017, the basketball shoe had the react. And then? Then the runners wanted it too. Uh huh. So the I don't know from Nike. Wow. <laughs> wow. What yeah. happened to <laughs> politically correct? <laughs> I don't know what's the name. Alright, welcome back to another episode of You don't have a name for this show yet We're going to be talking about something related to Nike When someone wants to slap you, what do you do? Slap the guy first lah Yeah, so you react right? Oh, ah. oh my god, we're so lame Anyways, wow. uh, reaction. We, as you can tell, we're going to talk about Nike react Yes, epic react, it's, react element It's been everything. what, two years? A year? Two years? Yeah, a year. It, Nico, we did oh, yeah. one year. Oh, one year. It's been one year. Uh, one year. Since the first Epic React came out. That's like the first time Nike has released a shoe on a large scale with the React yeah. technology. Technology, yes, that's right. We've got a few pairs to talk about today. Let's yeah. Let's bring them all out. The first one that I'm bringing out is called Nike Epic Phantom React FK. Oh, that's a long name, man. I don't know what FK stands for. Do you know what I F need? Oh, yeah. This is the Epic React Phantom FK, which is fly knit. Yes. This is the React Element 87. That is? React Element 55 Premium. Uh, before we get into the shoe, uh, we got a little bit of history lesson from Julian. History because, yeah, that's why I don't get it wrong. Yeah, because he's done a lot of reading and I didn't really like, I just told Julian, can you like just read up and I'm, I'm like lazy that way. So like, I did my homework. Okay, so React was actually first introduced back in June 2017. In basketball shoes, when they found out that basketball one, it worked out really well for them. Even mm. with a lot of movements, a lot of running and all right, then they thought like, oh, this could actually be something good. The runners wanted something that was lightweight, durable, energy return and all this thing lah. So basically they wanted everything in a pair of shoes which is almost impossible lah. But there's this guy in Nike. Oh yeah, I can't remember his name. His name was quite long. I did yeah. my homework. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, so how they engineered this was it was made out of about 400 different chemicals. It gives 13% energy return back to whoever that uses the React foam compared to the latest Lunalon that Nike has. The yeah. latest Lunalon technology. So like Nike was trying to like phase out Lunalon already, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like right now you don't see any more Lunalon shoes. Everything's just React. Either React or ZoomX. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so basically what the guy did was he actually did this the outsole engineered to help runners have a better performance yeah just for the sake of the runners yeah and then that's how the epic react was born mm. with this sole so fast forward Done. a year later we are now left with this this is the latest one yes cool uh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about the difference like right now this is like the the latest version of the epic react uh as you all know we all did a campaign last year we've got everyone to run all of your win like epic react pairs yes uh so this year they have come up with a new version fully fly knit yeah it's very very light nothing much has been done like the sole has some improvement in terms of like the bottom it used to be a translucent little rubber here yeah right on top and, and here, the bottom yeah uh, uh, but right now they try to make it like one piece reason being they, that these two thing is here is so that it has more grip and it's more durable i really like the colorway on this you like the colorway yeah it reminds me of the colorway time, the multicolor flyknit racers back then I, the really luna lawns and the flyknit trainers back then I you know the pedal pop your favorite pedal yeah, pop yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so they just threw away all the laces and i think that sort of helps with the, the weight of the shoe after running in the epic react one. I've not ran in this yet. I've worn this, walked around. My feedback was that the sole really wears out very fast. So it really depends on your way of running. So if you are the type that lands on the heel, then this part here would really help make your shoe durable. But if you're the type that lands like midfoot to like slightly above the midfoot, this part will definitely wear out like super fast. So, so if you are a type of person who like runs very, very often, like three, four times a week, you will go through this shoe pretty fast. But at the same time, if you're the type who's like just walking, yeah, this would be, this would serve you pretty long. Very, very comfortable. I would say in terms of comfort level, I would say top five. Top five? Yeah. The, the, the first one, yes, very comfortable. Oh, if yeah. I just wear it whole day just to walk, yes, very comfy. But then when it comes to this, and this, yes. it's a whole different story. It doesn't even look the same. 
<laughs> so uh, this is the running version. Uh, this is like the performance. Performance side of Nike. Yeah, yeah like. This is like really for running. Yeah, like this is lifestyle. So is funny thing is, this is also made with a little bit of running in mind. Back <laughs> when people were really into the Element React 87, I've actually seen some people running with this, and it was pretty like wow, flexing, ah. Huh? To be honest, I I don't really think this shoe was made for running. Even the tapak doesn't look like it's made for running. Uh okay. One thing's very obvious is when you press like even even for this one, if you like press really deep into it. You can feel like this sole is not as dense as this one. So this one really packs more cushioning, whereas this is a bit more softer. Hmm. It's not really meant for running, it's like super soft. Second thing is, I've read somewhere that this, all these patterns here, it's, it's just for gaya sake, you know, like... Aesthetics. And, of course, to give it better grip when you walk. But one thing though, I've got to say, if they can take this and put it into here, will be way better because you make, longer, you make this more durable. Yeah, it's definitely more durable because I mean, when you run a lot, you're going to mark out the top part. Exactly. Part. The timeline was this came out first, the, the Epic React came out first, and then this one came out again. This one was, re this model was introduced. Apparently like, yeah. everyone says the Element 87 was like shoe of the year. Yeah, one of the shoe of the year. One of the shoe for 2000, best okay. top 10 2018 shoe. Right now, it's quite easily available. <laughs> there are a lot of different colorways. I think this one is the latest one with blue, and then there's another one which is brown, right? And uh, I still think this is super fresh until today. Um, yeah, this, this is, Abang Suga. Uh, and then Nike introduced this, which is the 55. Yes, Element 55. This is also a lifestyle shoe, but this is the premium one. I think if you can see, it's a bit shiny. So we're gonna test whether this is actually waterproof. Oh, apparently, because apparently it's premium. It, it kind of feels like it is. I don't know. Kind of feels. Okay, let's go. Oh. Yo, you absorb right into it, man. <laughs> uh, don't wear it out in the rain. Yeah, but, I don't wear rain, but, but you then can see, protect, you know, protect your masses boys with rain, with some... Some of the water were was repelled because of the material. Yeah, but generally, this was a version that was released to answer the demand for the element. Yes, because they, were, they weren't producing enough 87, yeah. so they produced like slightly cheaper version of the elements, but they named it 55 instead. And, and there's actually like a lot of variants the 55. It's yeah. a little bit like this like but plastic. not so shiny. Yeah, this one is like a special material. Uh, it's, it's something like this plastic material but it's not see-through yeah. at all and the reason being is because a lot of people couldn't, like there was some people who cannot handle that whole I can oh. see your socks. For me it was, I have a pair but there's a bit of space. My feet is white right? So when I wear it, here like got space right Yeah. Middle, so not so cool. So some people like, who cares? Something to I cover. Wow. Blacks. And white. <laughs> so the price of this one is of course the cheapest. This is yeah, what, 579? It's a 579. It may be different, depends on the material, but this particular one is 579. Next one is okay. this one, which is 649. Yes, this is 649. And then of course the performance one is also 649. 609. 609. Yes, 609. Yeah. So basically, this one, 579, 609, 649. Yes. They are all very very different in terms of the use. This is of course for running. Very very lightweight. I think slightly more light than the previous one. I may be wrong. This one is Lighter. is an answer to people who cannot tahan that see-through element material. Correct. Element 87. Mm. And of course, this is like shoe of the year 2018. Full on see-through. Yes. You buy one shoe and then you buy like 10 different socks and then you just wear it and then you got like 10, 10 different. 10 different shoes. Yeah. I don't know, which one do you like the most? Ha ah, yo! Of course this lah. Of course this lah. We're sticker heads lah. So, uh, yeah. but this one, this one is pretty slick. There's a few colorways which are like pretty slick lah. Generally, very very happy with the React technology. Reason being, it's definitely more comfortable than Lunalon. Yeah, so if you like it a bit bouncy but slightly more stable-ish, mm. this is your go-to. Uh, also, sizing, this is very very snug. The fly knit will actually expand within a few days or a few weeks just like your t-shirt if you're like white footed you might need a half size to one size up besides whoa 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 oh yo brian don't get me wet this one if your feet is narrow you should go through to size or actually half size down don't go up half size or one size or anything because you will have like a huge space maybe even your whole toolbox also is like just empty there 
Yeah. But for this, we're all the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Uh, that's all we have for this week. Thank yes. you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Nike, uh, for all these shoes. Even though it's not mine, but thank you on yeah. behalf of Brian. Yeah, all my side. Again. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, but uh, do subscribe, share, uh, tell your friends about this channel. Yes. We have like different different other channels. Like for example, uh, give a give some love to our new show called Flex. Oh yeah, it's gonna be spicy. See you next time.